Hi everyone, it's me again, Mama Rio, and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, kung bago ka pa lang dito sa aking channel, please wag mo muna kumutang mag-subscribe, i-like tong video, and i-hit mo na din yung notification bell down below para naman palagi kang updated sa mga bago kong mga tutorials na ina-upload dito sa YouTube. Ayan. So, ngayon nga is panibagong video na naman tayo, panibagong aral na naman tayo tungkol sa matematika. And ito nga ay para sa grade 9 students. Ayan, first quarter. And ito ay lesson 1 ng grade 9. Ayan, so wag na nating patagalin pa to. Simulan na natin right after the intro. Okay, so for our lesson in this video, it is all about the illustrations of quadratic equation. Or, how are we going to illustrate a quadratic equation? How are we going to identify if an equation is quadratic or not? Okay? And, tuturuan ko din kayo dito kung paano mag-transform um, ng isang equation into a standard form ng quadratic equation. And, I want you to listen carefully and to jot down important details na mayroon dito sa lesson na to. Okay? So, we have here... Um, illustrations of quadratic equation. And when we say quadratic equation in one variable, it is a mathematical sentence with degree 2 and can be written in the following standard form. So, ito yung pinaka-standard form ng ating quadratic equation, okay? And kung kayo ay dumaan na ng grade 8, alam nyo na siguro kung ano ba si quadratic equation. So, when we say quadratic equation from the uh, definition itself, ito yung equation na merong degree of 2. And saan natin makikita yung degree of 2? Makikita natin to sa exponent. Ayan. Exponent ng ating um, variable. Okay? So, we have here ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This is the standard form of a quadratic equation. Okay? Where a, b, and c are real numbers, totoong mga numbers, and Palagi nyong tatandaan, A should not be equal to 0. Hindi pwedeng mag-0 si A. Okay? Well, ito yan. Itong A na to. Ayan. Yan. Hindi siya pwedeng maging 0. Kasi nga, dyan natin ma-identify kung ang isang equation is quadratic. Parang kung 0 to, eh di wala na tayong square. So, hindi yon quadratic. Tama? So, palaging tatandaan na quadratic equation has a degree of 2. Okay? Okay, so kung si A ay hindi pwedeng maging 0, si B, ayan si B, tsaka si C, pwede silang maging 0. Pwedeng ito lang yung matira. It's still a quadratic equation. Okay? Uh, sabi nga dito, if B is equal to 0, kapag daw yung B ay wala or 0, ang magiging uh, pinaka uh, form niya is AX squared plus C. Okay? Is equal to 0. Kapag naman daw si C, ang, ang 0, ang magiging equation natin is ax squared plus bx is equal to 0. But then again, um, overall, ito talaga ang pinaka-standard form ng isang quadratic equation. Okay? In this quadratic equation, itong ax squared, siya yung tinatawag nating quadratic term. Okay? Siya yung quadratic term. Ayan. While itong bx natin dito, ayan, Siya naman yung tinatawag nating linear term. And itong si C, ayan, of course, siya naman yung tinatawag nating constant term kasi wala siyang kasamang variable. Um, real numbers lang yan. Okay? While itong si A at si B, meron siyang X and X. And itong si A is the coefficient of X squared. While itong si B is the coefficient of X. Okay? When we say coefficient, ito yung mga numbers na may kasamang variable. And ang kasama nga nila is yung x na variable. Okay? And when we say constant, magkaiba si coefficient term kesa kay constant term. Kapag naman constant, um, isang number lang siya, wala siyang kasamang variable. Okay? So, palagi niyo tatanda. Okay, so with regards with the sign of uh, A, B, and C, itong si A pwede siyang maging negative. And of course, positive. Pero, hindi siya pwedeng maging zero. Tandaan yan, okay? Itong si B, pwede naman siyang maging positive. Pwede din siyang maging negative. And pwede naman din siyang maging zero. While si C, same lang din. Pwedeng positive, pwedeng negative, and pwedeng siya ay zero. Okay, so ngayon nga is magbibigay ako ng maraming examples para mas marami kayong reference 
kung ano ba ang sinasabing quadratic equation or not quadratic. So, dito sa illustrates or illustrations of quadratic equation, meron lang mga tatlong activities na pwede nyong ma-encounter like identifying if an equation is quadratic or not. And pwede din nyong write in standard form or kailangan nyong ilagay or isulat ang isang equation into a standard form of a quadratic equation. Remember, yan yung standard form ng ating quadratic equation. And, ang uh, isa pa is to look for the value of A, B, and C. Okay? And wag kayong mag-alala, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano. Okay, so we have here our example number 1. We have x squared plus 3x minus 15 is equal to 0. So first that are you going to do is to identify if this equation is a quadratic or not quadratic. Okay? Since, as you can see, paano mo siya ma-identify? Hanapin nyo kung ano ba yung pinaka-highest degree. When we say highest degree, doon kayo magbabase sa exponent. Pinakamalaking exponent na mayroon sa mga variables na ito, na nandito sa equation na ito. Since nakikita nyo na si x ay meron siyang square, and square yung ating hinahanap para masabi natin ang isang equation ay quadratic. Therefore, this equation is a quadratic equation. Okay? Bakit? Kasi po, meron tayong square dito. Hindi siya pwedeng maging cube, hindi din pwedeng maging raised to 4, raised to 5. Palagi lang raised to 2 ang ating quadratic equation. Okay? Now, tingnan kung nakalagay na ba siya sa standard form. Nandito na ba siya sa form na a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to 0. As you can see, we have x squared plus 3x minus 15 equal to 0. And kita-kita naman natin na nandun na siya sa standard form. So therefore, hindi na natin siya kailangang ilipat pa into a standard form. And then, third, let us find for the value of a, b, and c. Okay? So si a, nakita naman natin, di ba? a x squared, therefore, ito si a. Ayan. Ito si b. And ito si c. Tama? Ano ba ang value ni a dito. Since ito ay x squared lang or x raised to 2 and automatic yan kapag walang number na nakasama, automatic yan ay 1. Okay? Therefore, ang value ng a natin is 1. Ganun lang kasimple. And then, dun ka naman kay b. Ayan si b. Dahil nga ang kasama ni x dito ay 3, therefore si b ay 3. Okay? And be careful ha, ito ay plus. Therefore, positive sila. Positive 3. Okay? And then now, let's look for C. Si C ay itong constant term. Tama? Nasabi ko na yun kanina. We have here 15 or negative 15. Therefore, our C is negative 15. Ayan. Ganun lang kasimple ang pag-identify ng value ng A, B, and C. Okay? Now, um, take a look at our example number 2. We have here negative 2x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay? So, naalala nyo kanina, sabi ko, etong si b tsaka si c, pwede silang maging 0, no? And as you can see, sa nakikita natin dito, uh, it is a quadratic equation kasi meron tayong degree 2. Taba? Therefore, this is a quadratic equation also. Ayan. Okay, and sabi ko nga kanina, si bx at si c, pwede silang maging 0 or si b at si c lamang. Okay, and as you can see dito, ang na nandito lang is the quadratic term, itong negative 2x squared, and si constant term. Tama? Wala tayong linear term dito. Therefore, since na-identify nyo na na wala si bx dito, kasi constant term lang tong si 4a, eh. tapos ito quadratic term. Therefore, Letter A, uh, si B, ang value ng B is 0. Okay? Palagi nyo yung tatandaan. And since itong A, ano ba ang kasamang value ni X raised to 2? We have negative 2. Tama? Therefore, si A is a negative 2. Again, be careful with the sign. Kung ano yung nakalagay dito ng mga sign, yun yung ilalagay natin as their value. Okay? And then si C, dahil nga ito ay si constant term. Remember ha? Si C is the constant term. Therefore, siya ay 4 positive 4. Diba? Ganun lang kasimple mag-identify. Okay, now, look at our example number 3. We have x squared plus 2x is equal to 0. Okay, may napapansin ba kayo? Dito naman is 
wala naman si constant term. ba diba? Kasi lahat ng variable or lahat ng eto is may kasamang variable. Si x squared tsaka si 2x. Now, identify if this is a quadratic equation or not. Yes, this is also a quadratic equation. Why? Because there is the degree of 2. Okay? Therefore, um, this is a quadratic equation. Okay? And then now, um, look for A, B, and C. Since this is already in a form na pinakita ko kanina, no? Hindi lang sila actually naka-standard form kasi kulang. But then again, pinakita ko sa inyo kanina kung paano ba yung form kapag walang B or kapag walang C. Okay? And then, dahil nga dito sa nakikita nyo, si constant term ang nawawala, therefore, our C is equal to 0. Tama? And then, itong A natin, since ito ay x squared lang, 1 lang yan. Okay? And then, itong si B, dahil ito ay 2, ang kasama ni x, or ni x na may exponent na 1, that is our B. 2 ang ating B. Okay, ngayon, mas marami tayong examples, and after nito, meron pa din tayong mga examples. Okay, para marami kayong references kung paano nyo ba malalaman kung ang equation is a quadratic or not. Okay? So, take a look at our number 4. We have here 7x squared is equal to 49. Okay? So, ito, what are you going to do first in here is to transfer muna into a standard form. Okay? Dahil nga, hindi pa siya naka-equate to zero. And as you observe, ang ating um, quadratic equation is always equal to zero. Tama? So therefore, gagawin natin tong equal to zero. How? Paano yan, ma'am? So ganito lang yung gagawin nyo dyan, no? Itong constant term natin, di ba? Ito si constant kasi wala siyang kasamang variable. Ililipat lang natin siya to the other side. Or isasama natin siya kay 7x. As you can see, sama-sama naman talaga sila dito sa right side. Okay? Ito, dito sa right side. And then, kailangan mapalipat din natin si 49 kay right side. Okay? So, we have here 7x squared. What are we going to do? We are going to transpose 49. Si 49 dito ay positive. Ano yung sinabi ko before na kung nanonood kayo ng mga tutorials ko dito sa YouTube, alam nyo na, na naituro ko na to na kapag maglilipat kayo ng isang term to the um, other side of the equal Ayan. sa kabila ng equal sign palagi kayong mag-change ng sign. Okay? So, kung dito siya ay positive, therefore, dito ay magiging negative siya. ba? Magiging negative 49. Ayan. Equal. Kasi, diba, nandito kanina yung equal nandito sa side na to. Ngayon, nakapunta na siya doon. Kasi nga, nilipat na natin si 49 dito sa kabila. Therefore, naging negative siya. And then, we're going to equate it to 0. So, hanapin natin yung A, B, and C. So, ang A natin dito, sino ba ang kasama ni x raised to 2? We have 7. Therefore, our A is 7. Si B, kasi wala naman tayo dito yung linear term, or yung variable x na raised to 1, di ba? Therefore, B is equal to 0. And C, of course, is negative 49. Okay? Ganun lang siya, kasimple. So, now, take a look at our example number 5. We have here, 5x raised to 2 is equal to 0. Okay. So, identify if this is a quadratic equation or not. Yes, of course, this is also a quadratic equation. Kasi, as you can see, meron pa rin siyang degree of 2. Wala nga lang si bx tsaka si c. So, ano yung sabi ko kanina? b tsaka si c can be equal to 0. Okay? Kaya siya ay 5x squared, pwede pa din siyang maging, isa pa din siyang quadratic equation. Therefore, our A, B, and C is equal to A should be 5, ayan, 5. B is 0, C is 0. As simple as that. Okay? Now, take a look at our number 6. Ayan. We have here 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. Ayan. Now, identify if this is quadratic or not quadratic. Okay, very good. This is not a quadratic. Bakit hindi siya quadratic? Kasi nga, ang akanyang exponent or highest degree of exponent is 1. Diba? When we say quadratic, the highest degree is 2. Okay? So, this is not quadratic. Take a look at our number 7. We have here 
x cubed minus x raised to 2 minus 5. Okay, identify if it is quadratic or not. Very good. This is also a not quadratic. Bakit hindi siya quadratic? Remember, a quadratic equation has the highest degree of 2. Highest degree. Tingnan kung ano ang highest degree meron dito. And when we say highest degree, we are talking about the exponent. Okay? As you can see, ang highest degree dito ay 3. Diba? Pangalawa pa lang si 2. Okay? So therefore, this is not also a quadratic.